In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over you by the message of God. You will never lack help for the rest of your life. You will never lack help us for the rest of your life. You will never lack help for the rest of your life. You will never lack help us for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Your speed in destiny is to the degree to which you are accepted. If you are not accepted, you cannot make progress in life. I'm praying for you. The same way God gave me global acceptance, I pray for a preacher in the name of Jesus. I pray for a businessman. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, may you be accepted across the globe. May your ministry be accepted across the globe. May your business be accepted across the globe. May your person be accepted across the globe. In the name of Jesus. One day I was praying and I came across that scripture that the Lord told Moses. He says, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Listen. And I remember the Lord telling me that day. He said, in ministry, never try to fight any battle. It doesn't matter who rises up against you. There is a covenant that I have with you that I will defend you with my jealousy. You always hear me say that the God of my covenant, this is where it came from, that I have a covenant with you that I will stand by you as a mighty terrible one. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May this covenant begin to work for you. That anybody who rises against you, against your reputation, against your relevance, against your influence, before their eyes, God will bring them down. Before their eyes, God will lift you up. Before their eyes, God will bring them down. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I was studying one time and I saw where he told them, he said, when I sent you, lackest thou anything. When I saw the gravity of the work that God was committing to my hands, I knew that they would need resources, both human and material resources. And I said, Lord, I want to do ministry with integrity. I don't want to have to manipulate anyone for money. I don't want to have to manipulate anyone to come in terms of membership. And that was when I learned about the power to prosper and the grace called favor. That favor can come upon a man. The power to prosper can come upon a man and redefine your finances. I tell you in the name of Jesus and without any sense of humility, this ministry does not owe anybody one naira, dead or alive. We don't borrow, we don't beg, I don't borrow, I don't beg. It's part of our covenant with God. I'm praying for you. God who has shown mercy in the name that is above all names and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, step into a level of supplies. Supplies by wisdom. Supplies by favor. Supplies by wisdom. Supplies by favor. I say it again, supplies by wisdom. Supplies by favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before needs arise, let the supply be waiting. Listen, in your lifetime, you would do multi Everything was about money and I did not want to be a preacher like that. I didn't want to be incapacitated financially, but I didn't want my life and this ministry to be all around money. I said, God, you must teach me those who missed it. Where did they miss it? So that we can correct it. And God said, the thing is, I can give you things, but let it not get to your heart and let it not become your emphasis. Let Jesus remain your emphasis while the blessings help you announce him. By the time you leave Jesus and you start announcing the blessings, it turns to idolatry. I said, that's it. I found the key. Let me pray for you. While God increases you, these things will not get to your heart. While God increases you, money and fame and power will not get to your heart. It will not distract you in the name of Jesus. 
but I hear me if you are part of this vision I speak to you you will lay gold as dust oh secrets will be shown you you will see things others don't see he will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a hear ye him anointing that is responsible for influence even global influence a product can carry that grace a person can carry that grace a ministry can carry that grace I was not born global nobody is born global you define your possibilities by the graces that come upon you I pray for you right from where you are in the name that is above all names may the nations hear your voice right from where you are may the nations hear your voice may they hear your voice in ministry may you hear your voice as a business person as a career person every power territorially every power foundationally that fights the voices of people stopping them from rising silencing their voices upon the mountains so that it will not be heard i cost those voices now I curse those spirits now. I curse those influences now. In the name of Jesus. There are angels mandated to herald men, herald visions. Revelations 1 verse 1. He sent it and signified it by his angel. He sent it and signified that message by his angel there are angels that herald anointings they herald the coming of men they make territories accept men they take the glad tidings of the hand of God upon your life publicity is a spiritual affair it's not by posters and billboards alone no in the name of Jesus where you have not gone to may your name get there where you have not gone to may your teachings get there where you have not reached may your products reach there in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen to me i learned from dr miles munro that influence is a very great key in commanding kingdom advance i have taught you what is influence the ability to make men buy into your ideologies your beliefs without using force or cruelty can i tell you if you lack this grace for influence it doesn't matter how right you are nobody will listen to you hallelujah you don't have to manipulate people to believe you you don't have to manipulate people to hear you you don't have to manipulate people and say don't listen to this one listen to it no no you don't have to when that grace is on you that grace can cause men to listen to you i'm praying for you in the name of jesus like you have never seen you will command the loyalty of kings you will command the loyalty of nobles you will command the loyalty of both great and small male and female in the name of jesus men will look for you they will come to you in the cave of adulam and they will say be lord over us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah two more prayers the grace for humility listen let me tell you this i learned early in life the danger of of pride that it is the one thing that can make god fight you people have done all kinds of things against god in the bible he forgave them but the one thing that god does not tolerate is pride that god himself resisted opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble let me pray for you in the name of jesus your lifting will not be why you go down i say it again your lifting will not be why you go down your rising will not be why you fall let the spirit of pride die from your life now let the spirit of boasting and bragging vain glory let it die now the grace for humility receive it 
humility is not rejecting what god has done no humility is the ability to decrease and project christ as the basis for all you are and all you have become let that grace rest upon you final prayer and we're done the grace for honor let me tell you what honor is honor means to be perceived correctly and to be rewarded to match your sacrifice if the grace for honor is not on you you may be rewarded but you will not be rewarded to match the level of your sacrifice there are people like that they are not promoted to match their sacrifice you see that now it's not that their hands are empty but they know they are far greater than that level it says thou shalt take joshua the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands upon him verse 20 says thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him that all the congregation of israel might be obedient unto him i'm praying for you let honor rest on you let honor rest on you you have honored jesus you have honored me let honor rest on you as a man of god let honor rest on you in the name of jesus it is not just men that will look for you governments will look for you i say it by the message of god governments will look for you their parliaments will look for you institutions will look for you nobles will look for you gentiles will look for you even those you are looking for will look for you in the name of jesus christ because you came here to celebrate with me if christ tarries even 30 years after now you will still be standing you will still be standing you will not fall by the wayside it will never be said you were you once were great it will never be said you once were spiritual in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah god has declared that this is our year of exceeding great rewards i pray for you whatever has not entered your hand and is still hanging in the spirit i declare let it enter your hand this week let it enter your hand this week let it enter your hand this week as god lifts me may he lift you as god helps me may he help you as god shows me mercy may he show you mercy in the name of jesus anybody waiting for your downfall will wait forever i say it again anyone waiting for your downfall will wait forever but as for you keep going higher keep going higher from glory to glory from grace to grace the lord increase you more and more you and your children in the name of jesus give jesus a big hand clap in the name of jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah the bible says in revelation chapter 3 it says i am he that was dead and now is alive he said and i hold the keys the holder of the key of david the key of david is a mysterious possibility in the kingdom he says and by that key i open a door that no man can shut can i declare the opening of doors listen a door is an authorized point of access if someone comes into your house through the fence he's in your house but he's not welcome because your fence is not the authorized access point jesus said i am the door that is how important doors are but doors and gates can also be barriers they limit access when they are closed 
a door that is there is a potential for access doors midwife realms your kitchen your living room your bathroom they are separated by walls and separated by doors if you want to midwife or transit from one part of your house to the other you don't walk through the wall you walk through the door but how many of you know that as as powerful as you are you can misplace the key to your door and it can keep you outside for a long time can i declare the opening of doors in the name of jesus the son of the living god every door every gate before you that has remained closed i speak to it now a father be open a father be open career doors be open career doors be open family doors be open financial doors be open in the name of jesus christ son of man can these bones live again it says only down the west it said prophesy to these bones and tell them oh bones hear ye the word of the lord that god will cause flesh and sinews to come upon you but the flesh was there but it was lifeless it says son of man call the four winds and say oh wind breathe upon this lane and they became an exceeding great army i declare let the wind of the spirit blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon dead finances dead marriages dead wombs dead organs come back to life by the spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for the sake of time i made a request in the morning we may not have the time to collate them but please lift your prayer requests and your expectation cards can i speak over them please if you have it if it's in an e-version just lift your phone or just stand by faith and for those who are connecting distance is no barrier at all all of the experience centers and then those who are connecting from across the globe this is how powerful god is hallelujah pray in the spirit in one minute a miracle is about to happen to you just do what i'm asking you to do philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known don't assume that he knows let your request be made known hallelujah hallelujah now keep it lifted please help them I'm about to pray for you and I please want you to believe I want you to believe I'm standing under the corporate anointing here and I want to speak over this keep your hands lifted Jesus told us that when the Spirit of God comes he will testify of him he does not have any agenda on his own except to reveal Jesus to reveal him as the way to reveal him as the truth and to reveal him as life everywhere you see the holy spirit his assignment is to reveal jesus in his entirety i want to pray for you right now please believe believe in the name of jesus take your mind away from the long-standing issues and let your attention be on jesus in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead that every prayer request every expectation here lifted in the name of jesus we turn it to testimonies now 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 in the name of jesus christ hear me for someone here is your prophetic word you will not see wind you will not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water 
I decree it unto you. You will not see wind. You will not see rain. But your valley shall be filled with water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For another person here. You will experience the mystery of Aaron's rod. That even though it is not connected to the earth. It will still board. I decree and declare. You may not have any regular advantage. But may the Holy Ghost be your advantage. In your office may he be your advantage. In Lagos. In Abuja. In Nigeria. In Europe. In America. May he be your advantage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The lifeless body of Jesus is lying in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. And my Bible says, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, that if that same spirit resides, hold on, that means anywhere that dimension of the spirit is, it raises whatever it rests on, anything. If it rests on a body, it quickens the organs. If it rests on finances, it compels multiplication. If that same spirit, that spirit is a razor. It does not leave anything at the level it met it. If that same spirit, I sense in my heart to declare over your finances. Please listen to me. And don't allow anybody lie to you that it's not important. No. There is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value it answers to productivity it is true but there is a, a dimension of wealth that comes by the prophetic it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper the prophet said by this time tomorrow there was no economic manipulation that would turn samaria to a place of abundance in 24 hours but the prophetic and that by the spirit let me speak over someone's wilderness according to isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest everywhere there is drought even financially i command abundance now abundance through the ministry of mercy abundance to the gift of men in the name of jesus christ and for someone lifting your request i speak to you these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus my final declaration over your life dead prayer lives dead word study lives dead passion and appetite for the things of god it says that the fire upon the altar it must burn day and night for some of you you came for this conference it's a renewal conference for you because your prayer life until you came here was dead or dying word study life dead or dying passion for spiritual things dead or dying it doesn't matter what category by the spirit of the living god we fan your prayer life back to flames we fan your word study life back to flames we fan your passion for god for the things of god for the house of god back to flames in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus wave your hands to jesus as an offering in faith believing it says what things soever ye believe when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them is someone saying thank you jesus thank you for the healing thank you for the new dimension thank you for the flight in the spirit for in jesus matchless name we have prayed can i tell you this hear me i made a vow and a covenant with god i said lord whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family i obtain grace even if it's for me to be the sacrifice that i will fight it with my life 
taking advantage of the victory that is in christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus came your way. please look at me hear me i have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously hiv just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that i know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority i am a spirit with a mortal body I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air, the realm of the sea. Someone is praying. Shabakata barato kete balaka to shobrondos. Ekrete kete barato shodo brenda kete balaka dia. Shakata bras kete balaka ta. Embra kata baraka to shate kete. Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. Ye bate kete baraka to shate hallelujah hallelujah shout it say in the name of jesus i take my rightful place on earth as god's steward and i declare holy spirit i am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life i declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray i take my place i take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by god to find expression in my life in this season i declare i take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Sh 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every system of authorization. Working against my life. My family. My destiny. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shake it up, katapa la katosh. Embrek it, katapa rosh kotopa. Be silenced. In the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization, fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray, many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command depart now open your mouth and pray depart fibroids depart high blood pressure depart cancer depart someone pray tumors growth depart blood conditions depart Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare, through the ministry of men, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions.
God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Shabagata Barakos, Abrakatos Kateva Lakatesh. Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture judges chapter 5 i hope i get it right let's look at 19 and 20 this was deborah and sisera judges 5 the kings came and fought i hope i got then fought the kings of canaan in tanakh by the waters of megiddo and they took no gain of money verse 20 yes it says they fought from heaven the stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements, did the Bible not say the sun? shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord work in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scorching tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. Genesis 1 from verse 20. I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see. Are you ready? And God said, Let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So water is connected to abundance. And water in scripture means men too. Are we together? It is not just about physical water. Water is also prophetic and symbolic of men. It says, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life. The fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. 21. Let's read together. One, two, read. And God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly hold on we are going to declare the prayer of abundance waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water water here means men are we together water prophetic that means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men and the bible says god can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly say in the name of jesus i decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men i declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. hallelujah psalm 79 verse 11 psalm 79 verse 11 let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those that are appointed to die is an appointment I can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness okay you go to apply for a visa you expect an appointment there is an understanding between you and the 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 consular officers that there is an appointment so when the bible talks about an appointment it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed even if you are not there like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th so when the bible says there are people appointed to die it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them 
already made the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever i say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can i tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory i tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for god's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the bible says where the word of a king is he says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you too move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of jesus i take my place as one who has authority and i decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you 
be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that would depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee he says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open of favor be open and remain open 
doors of lifting be open and remain open doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of david has opened Makesh may this prophetic word judge them some of you by reason of these open doors things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand in the name of Jesus let it enter your hand finally mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebuke you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan i know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this i present to you the mercy of god i present to you the blood of the eternal covenant i present to you the advocacy of jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary a weapon over the devourer i know i've not been a tighter you are authorized to destroy me but see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood you should be destroyed but the blood will speak hear me you live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen and the earth cries against you but when i see the blood when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! In God's mercy, come on now. In God's mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. 
the bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now but it can blot it out but it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out must lead me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted you live by life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinoni are you praying Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions, and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh. Let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7. Please quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now, 
if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is caused, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order, a new order, dissociated from the past, alienated from witchcraft and causes and laws by the blood of the eternal God. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. Lekreteke Poko Soto Balakata. Shabrekete Kosuta Bariatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. From activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night. To sleep with you. Men, women, animals. And all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you. Plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, He says, And if he be Christ's, 
then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise I want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as I pray and right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of Jesus I command that cause of action be taken from off your shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you works against you I command that faith be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark secreto shalakras katabadiyasha lebrain tekes kotabras kataliya any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting walls keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss shakatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of causes and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 I 
announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have written in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and the bible says elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jizreel i want to speak speed in your life i don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of god for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore i command speed step into it right now in the name of jesus i command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the last prayer point i want to pray for you for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess is an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now so those so that let great to set a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of jesus your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because your garden is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Everybody will receive, but particularly 
you are you are a minister of the gospel let your heart be open i want to release a grace upon you ministers of the gospel it's time to do this powerlessness in the church if we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces the purposes of god and the program of god will suffer i call upon the god of my covenant and in the name of jesus i declare for everyone called into ministry the mantle and the grace needed take it now 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 the grace needed for efficiency receive it in the name of jesus hear me if you are a prophet here may your eyes and your ears be opened supernaturally may a mantle come upon you male and female may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus christ the healing anointing I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people. I don't know who you are, but drink of that fountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that fountain. A new wave of the healing anointing. A new wave of the healing anointing. I release it upon you. I, re I release it upon you. Take that grace now. Signs and wonders. I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders potent signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ that through your hands the blind will see through your hands the deaf will hear through your hands cripples will walk in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every dimension of the gift of the Spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny i'm telling you i'm seeing like candles i'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles this is what i'm seeing it looks like acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that pentecost fire let it come upon you now that pentecost fire let it come upon you now pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life I'm still praying for everyone but particularly ministers of the gospel the spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture I tell you men and women will teach scripture like never before the word of God will open up to you you will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude receive that grace right now receive that grace the spirit of revelation in the name of jesus christ every altar that has been barren of power for any man or woman of god here in the name of jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord let's do the finance one now father it is your desire for your people to prosper even in this season and many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy certain financial doors may not seem to be opened but in the name of Jesus you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men therefore the grace component required for your financial exploits receive it now Hmm. Hmm. receive it now receive it now hear me 
there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please be silent I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants aha uh -huh. in the name of jesus christ i'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of jesus let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally please bring them out whether for individuals or families very quickly men and women everything that has tied your progress i decree and declare right now be released be released be released please bring them out my god fire is falling in this place bring them quickly ancestry yokes of darkness you may not even know that is the cause the bible says now the lord is that spirit something is leaving you i'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken, let it be broken now by the power of the holy ghost let it be broken now release their destinies release their destinies release their destinies it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings the blood is speaking against it now the apakosh ketepata the blood is speaking against it now yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord please bring them out quickly yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord yes lord sing yes lord yes lord, yes, lord. Lord, you are the king, there is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm seeing fire burn the feet of people, and the Lord is saying He's opening graves. I don't know what this means but in the name of jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry i stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of god bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness let it destroy the works of darkness connected to ancestry connected to the spirits of the dead be delivered now
I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobe shalakros kevaniata engroto sode balakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now. Right now, I break that chain of that pattern that pattern of death. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now release them now release them now negative and demonic dreams seeing yourself in the past past schools writing exams that never finish all kinds of satanic things everything that connects you negatively to yesterday be set free right now please help them this apakatosh katepata be set free right now be set free right now hear me the lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again you go to bed and you see yourself doing things you have done before levels you have left according to scripture believers don't go backward we only go forward every spirit drawing you back i break you from their influence now let me tell you this hear me i hope you know i used to have those experiences myself before you've heard my story as a man of god though not just a, an, an ordinary believer i used to have those experiences where demons will come and press me and all those things i will shout jesus shout jesus nothing will happen that is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people i do it with passion because i've been a victim of oppression again let me speak to someone you have prayed you have fasted you have tried and yet nothing has changed in the name of jesus this night be delivered permanently 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 hallelujah don't be tired i'm seeing in a vision this is what i'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied i don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout jesus be delivered now i break those chains i break them from your hands i break those chains i break them from your hands hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me the vision of a door and I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door and according to the vision I'm seeing 
trying to force the door to open and some are even crying and i'm seeing people dropping like dying yet that door is not opened i believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and i believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically i taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now I break that door now! I break that door now! Generational doors, be open! Be open! Be open! Efata, be open! Be broken! In the name of Jesus Christ! You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service hear me you see when a door is open or broken the most important thing is that the right of way has been given you will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you in the name of jesus for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare at the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives. Never to return again. In the name of Jesus the sun sets them free and we declare as the church of the lord jesus christ they are free forever they are free forever they are free forever in the name of jesus please hear me i told you that i have discerned that among the many things that god is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability. You see the teachings that I've been bringing. These are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ, please hear me, is death through sickness. Mysteriously, people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for. Are we together now? It is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony, but I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name, O oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name, O oh God. 
praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and great for you I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen let the devil and let that sickness know I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now that devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Ghana, to Lagos, to Abuja, to Joss, to Kano. Let the healing power of God begin to flow right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blood conditions be healed now. Cancer die now. HIV be healed now. Blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now. Blind eyes, partial or complete blindness, we command that you open now ears be open now anyone here suffering from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now yeah. 